Taking a live look at the cargo ship just sitting and smoldering in the St. John's River. Quite the scene this morning. It's been on fire for nearly 48 hours. The fire started on Thursday and this morning, as you can see, it is still burning. Jacksonville Fire Rescue is asking for continued prayers for the nine injured firefighters after an explosion inside that ship. This morning, five are home from the hospital and Fire Chief Keith Power says at least four have significant burns and will be off the job for a long time. At least two will need additional surgeries and skin grafts. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller joins us live from Jack's port on Blunt Island. Brittany, I know you just talked to JFRD. What have you learned? Zach, I just spoke with Jacksonville Fire Rescue. A spokesperson says that the ship is actually tilting a little bit, and I can tell you that crews out here are pouring 25,000 gallons of water on the exterior of the ship every minute. That's just to show you the magnitude of the response out here, and that's all in an effort to protect the integrity of the ship, to keep that ship afloat. And take a look. This is a live look at the scene out here. You can see the paint peeling away from the heat. JFRD says if it wasn't for its three marine boats putting out the ship uh, responding here during Thursday, it would have cracked in half and sank, which would be an environmental issue. Crews are working hard and around the clock. This Sky 4 video flying over the scene. The Coast Guard says because of Jacksonville Fire Rescue's tireless efforts to keep water on the exterior of the ship, it's prevented the ship from breaking up and sinking, which is a good thing for safety and environmental impacts. These photos from JFRD using drones with infrared cameras to measure the temperatures showing the hottest areas of the ship glowing in red. On the first day of it burning, the hottest temperatures inside were over 1,000 degrees. The United States Coast Guard says the cars were melting inside. Meanwhile, the hull never rose above 350 degrees. JFRD crews will not be sent back into the ship. They're letting it burn itself out. Specialized teams from the federal government and private industry will be coming in to help battle the fire, then investigate. Basically, from the seventh deck up, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, uh, we believe the cars are essentially a total loss at this point. Firefighters that egressed from the ship yesterday explained that they weren't even burning at that point. They were melting. The Coast Guard says there are no signs of any contaminants in the water at this point. JFRD says crews are rotating every four hours. They are working very hard out here. It says the goal is to eventually get all of the fuel off the ship once it's able to do so. And of course, safely reporting live this morning, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.